One of the well, there's a lot of heads. You got machine head, you got motor head, you got radio head. <laughs> yeah. Any more heads you could think of? Hey, dude, that's enough, dude, man. I done told you, man. It's too you taking all my skittles, dog. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting and thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood six, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke. Mm -hmm. Diggity. Yeah. Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Baker's Man, dog. What up? Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Baker's Man. Dog. Dog, exactly. All right, I got some trivia for you. What you got? So, I know you're not going to get this, but I just want... If you get this, dude, you're a legend. <laughs> what are people who love eating ice called? I ain't gonna pee. get that. Uh, Pagophagiacs? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've never heard that term. All right, let me give you two more. All right. All right, what was Walt Disney afraid of? I'll, t I'll give you a hint. Well, do you know? Mice. How the hell did you know that? Because that's why he made Mickey. <laughs> well, damn. Me and Walt Disney have something in common. <laughs> One more thing. What, what, was, what were the first ice hockey pucks made out of? Mm, good question. I guess it wasn't plastic, huh? No. Rubber? No. Oh, uh, wood? No. What was it? Cow dung. Really? Cow dung. Oh, I think that might be where the term puck came from. Why that? Why call it dung? Just call it poop. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't get it. It's got to be a scientific term. Is this, Is that the scientific name? Dung? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. You said dung. I mean, it's also fecal matter might be a little more technical, but... I don't know how we got here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's see. Um, uh, when you go to heaven and you become an angel, you get a, a halo. You got it, my All friend. Right. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. It comes directly from you right down in the comment section and today and over on <laughs> patreon. patreon yes and today we have another wonderful suggestion from one of our wonderful patreon members who goes by the name of Rigo Sandoval. Sandoval. Rigo yeah. Sa listen Rigo Sandoval that is a a, a wrestler's name yeah it's like a wwe oh, yeah Coming to the ring, weighing 465 pounds, standing six foot three inches, Rigo Sandoval. <laughs> it's all love, Rigo, uh, man. WWE would have loved that name. Absolutely, yeah. man. You should have tried out, Rigo. But shout out to you, Rigo, because you are a loyal patron member, my friend. And you've sent us over a band that we've only done one song, I think. By. Was it just one? Yeah. Uh, Imperium. Or... Imperium, that's right. Yeah. Man, Machine Head. What? I'm just waiting to see <laughs> what you're going to say. Well, I mean, I don't know that much about Machine Head, to tell you the truth. I, I know we did Imperium, but... And then I think this, when we... If my memory, you know, serves me correctly, I want to say this is hardcore. Like, I don't I don't think this is black metal. I don't think this no. is death metal. I think it was just that... I don't even know what you call it. Like, a new wave metal, maybe? Uh... I don't think it was quite uh, new metal, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, I think it kind of fell, if I'm not mistaken, I think it kind of fell in that era, like, um, post-thrash and before new metal, you know? So, wait, what, what year do you think Machine Head came out? I mean, I know we don't know I much I want to say, like, early 90s. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's one of those things where they started, they got together in the 80s, you yeah. know, and uh, it really hit big in the early 90s, something like that. Yeah. I don't know, man. And what, uh, again, when I hear Machine Head, I I'd like to know who came first, Machine Head or Motorhead, because I mean they're basically the. Oh, I bet Motorhead was before. And uh, y'all can the trash talk because y'all can understand why I correlate the two, Machine Head. Oh Motorhead, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know, dude. And whoever came first did one of the well there's a lot of heads you got machine head you got motor head you got radio head <laughs> yeah. any more heads you could think of uh head from corn <laughs> head from corn yeah yeah but um man rigo you know 
being a loyal Patreon member, he said, you guys got to get back to some Machine Head and you got to check the song out. We do, because that's one band that we haven't really learned that much about. I mean, we've only covered them one time, so understandable, but it's almost an enigma to us. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, again, the power of Patreon is real because yeah. it, it forces us to do things and we're, like you said, is enigmatic for us to find something new about yeah or learn something new yeah, about because they, they weren't you know exactly at the forefront of metal yeah you know? and, and they, they definitely weren't underground like they they hit obviously right. at some point but and bro the name of this song is called halo halo i guarantee you it's not what we're thinking this is gonna be about ah good question it could be about somebody that died you know oh maybe it's smoke dog what up? let's get into it let's do it Got yeah, like an early '80s vibe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm here in '90s, like early '90s. Yeah. This is like Motorhead if they met Radiohead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Depending on what the vocals sound like. Yeah. Dude, that riff.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. entry. <laughs> oh, we gonna get it. I feel it coming. Gotta drop. Gotta it's, drop. Listen to how the build up. It's got to. Come on. Here we go. was Slipknot Saturday I, and bro, I told me <laughs> yes <laughs> I would have been like this is another good Slipknot song <laughs> other than the, the vocals were <laughs> yeah you could definitely tell a little bit of difference in chorus yes. yeah. but I definitely can see I swear to god I was thinking the same thing Dude. I swear I was but this had to be I got to look up their timeline here okay because this had to be before Slipknot alright unless what, this is a later song are you talking just this song yeah, I All wanna right. see I wanna see when the band basically hit and By when this means. song came out. By all means. Okay, so Rigo, first and foremost, thank you for I mean, this was just invigorating, dude. You know those like commercials where, you know, you're in the shower, they'll show someone in the shower and they're like washing their hair and it's it just they're like, "Oh, I feel this is the best shampoo ever." This invigorated us, man. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Absolutely. Okay, they were formed in 91. I think okay. I was right with the timeline. Yeah, so right there with Slipknot. No. Yeah. Well, Slipknot was 99. No, yeah, Slipknot was 99. I'm saying I was right when I said right, I think right. they were, you know, that Post um, post thrash era before new metal. Yeah. Uh, this song was Halo. Mm-hmm. Let's see when this song was. This was released in two thousand seven. Okay, so this was basically some later work, you could say. Yeah, and yeah. this sounded around that time. Like this mm-hmm. sounded like what? For, okay, what genre? New heavy groove. What you want to call it? This was more hardcore, you know. I mean, it had elements of thrash, and it had elements of Slipknot. That's for sure. Yes. I mean, there was no rapping, so you wouldn't really say new metal. No, but they had a sound that was just very I mean, similar. You can even say somewhat progressive, dude, because they went from oh from yeah, there was a lot of time changes. Yeah, to thrash, yeah. to chill, yeah. to just. Man, we got to buy whatever those things the doctor put on your fingers mm-hmm. to measure what are, what is it your heart rate or whatever. Oh yeah, a pulse pulsometer. We need yeah. that. We need. So, all right, this is before yeah. the reaction. Now this is after. I'm sure our hearts have jumped up tremendously. 
I have one of those at home. I am going to buy one, and we will bring yeah. one. <laughs> that, that will be a thing here on Rappers Yeah, Red. that'd be awesome. Damn, that would be crazy. And But we can only use it on bands like we know it's going to be, like a Slipknot or yeah. a Machine Head. You yeah, know, like. exactly. But did you get anything from the... I think this is a, I think it's a lot like um, what Slipknot would be talking yes. about, like what Corey would be writing about. Uh, he said, I, I, like following a guy, a God so blind, or yeah. you he's know, speaking out us. against like the hypocrisy of the church, you know? Yeah, that or like a society, because he's like, you know, oh, yeah. you're, yeah. you're uh, they're feeding us the the sh- that they want to feed us. Yeah, I, I mean, it could be both, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, our society was. For the longest, I guess you could still say it's still a Christian society, in a sense. I you mean, know, times have changed. The zeitgeist have definitely dude, changed. Dude, I saw either I, it was some a podcast I read or podcast I heard or an article I read that they said uh, now is the like at this point in time in America, this is the least amount of Christians in America. I believe it. Yeah. Like, yeah. what's As that ever? Well, because yes, ever I think it was. What the indoctrination is, is dying out. You know, uh, I think people, I think science has played a big part in it. Mm-hmm. You know, I think people sharing information, saying, "Hey, this part of the religion doesn't line up with this part of the religion." Right. So people see that and go, "Why am I following that? It doesn't make sense." You know. I don't know. And, and science, like I said, science plays a big part. I think in science that. might play the biggest part. I think because, so. Because, you know, you being able to come across these huge technological advances and see mm-hmm. what's out past, you know. Oh, yeah. And dating. Dating plays a big part. I, I watched this special on a, a lady. She was a Christian lady. You watched a special on Christian dating? Lady. <laughs> <laughs> a Christian lady was explaining, like, Noah's Ark and whatever. And she was trying to make the timeline fit how. Um, Noah actually had dinosaurs on the ark, and oh, the had... reason the the dinosaurs didn't make it past the flood is because they were too big to fit in the ark, and well, you know if, the big ones. And if there were birds, birds are technically dinosaurs. Yeah, well, I imagine the birds could have stayed over yeah, the top I mean, just, of it anyway. I mean, but... come on, let's, we're talking about two of every animal on Earth. In but the yeah, ark. she was trying to say that dinosaurs existed six thousand years ago. She was like, "Oh, they were, uh, yeah, they were all here before the ark, you know." And it's like, uh, "Science says that you're way off by like a million years." Yeah, and if that story is even legitimate, you know. Yeah. By the way, do you know how many how many uh, animals are on Moses' ark? I think she actually said it, but I can't remember the exact it number. Was zero. Because it wasn't Moses' art. It was oh, you Noah's. said Moses. Oh. <laughs> it was Noah's <laughs> Noah. <art. laughs> yeah. Um, I don't even catch that. Yeah, Rigo, let me, Rigo Sandoval, thank you so much for taking us down a rabbit hole that we thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah. And we we, we got to bring those things in, dude. Yeah, that we, yeah we definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Rigo, again, thank you so much for all your support on Patreon. And to all our Patreon members, thank you guys so much for your support. Let mm-hmm. us know what's next by machine head down in the comment section. And with that being said, my name is Barringer Hollywood. Six, bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we cover, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.